Hello, I'm Bill Hussbach from the Connecticut Beekeepers Association, and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, this new hive body that we that was donated to C CBA for our use up at the bee yard, and so we're going to be running this um, hive this year in the bee yard. So I wanted to make certain that you have a little introduction to what this hive is all about, and also how you manage wiring the frames inside of it, and so on and so forth. So might ask yourself um, a question about why do we need a new uh, different style hive body when uh, there's plenty out there already we have a standard Langstroth box and and we have long hives out there and worry hives and lands hives and all kinds of different uh, top bar hives and all different kinds of configurations that you can choose from and uh, but I think the simple answer to that is that we have essentially in in our beekeeping practices standardized the Langstroth box the standard Langstroth box which is an industrial product and uh, they're early in the beekeeping uh, world there was a lot of innovation in hive styles but it seems like in the decades that followed all of that innovation we eventually settled on a few different style boxes one of them being the Langstroth box which we have adapted um, today for our practices, pretty much, exclusively. And so then the innovation in hive uh, bodies sort of stopped. And, and now uh, folks are taking an interest in the last five or six years or so, I've noticed um, an interest in uh, maybe not so much a configuration, uh, changing the configuration of the Langstroth box, but adding a bunch of insulation to it and finding other ways to make it more um, comfortable, for lack of a word, for bees to live in, in a more, trying to mimic or get them closer to a more natural environment. All right, so this hive is, um, is innovative in a couple of ways. First of all, it is what I would refer to as a condensing colony, so the only uh, ventilation piece of it would be down at the bottom, where the entrance is, way down there on the bottom. So, but in this particular hive style, the entire structure of the inside of the colony is different. You can see in the corner there the size of those sort of triangular shaped frames that go inside this box. So this box was designed by folks that studied the uh, capabilities of bees to thermoregulate and also to control the hive gases. So inside this box the bees are allowed to naturally control their environment without any added ventilation of any kind and in doing so they have brought um, this uh, the cavity if you will back to a more natural state that sort of mimics the inside of a tree right so um, it has lots of um, interesting components to it I won't go over that you can get on to their um, primal bee site and see an unboxing video and it'll show you all these different uh, products it does have a screen bottom board and it does have uh, supers regular uh, supers that take regular medium frames that you can put above these I just wanted to show you uh, for instance what the frame looks like so here's a frame that has been um, already wired and I put wax foundation on it all right so I have a video that shows how you crosswire this frame and how you put foundation in it. So I suggest that if you have any interest at all in the box, you go and take a look at that next. Anyway, so if you um, look at this, you can see that there's a taper to the sides and there's also lots of foundation. They only can actually put about seven frames in here. Okay, so I'm going to just tilt this up so you can see what the inside looks like. It's a very deep. Um, cavity. I don't know if that shows well in the video. And these are long frames. Here's one that just has wire on it. That's one process you have to do. And then the other one, this one has foundation on it already, and that's a that's a separate that's a separate um, process also. All right. So okay. So we're gonna take these two colonies, we have two of them here, to the bee yard on, in Boulder Knoll. We'll announce uh, 
when you can see them. We're going to install a package of bees in them probably on the 19th or the 20th. And we're going to get started on our, our life with, with Primal B. So we'll be able to observe what the bees will do with that long uh, vertical space, similar to what they would have maybe in a tree cavity. We'll see what kind of uh, comb they build and, um, and how they handle that. Let me give you a few reasons why I think this is a good idea to bring uh, a new style colony into the bee yard. First of all, I think it'll open folks' minds in terms of thinking, what are the possibilities that are, are out there? And, and is my style of beekeeping um, uh, as good as it gets? Or can I innovate and figure out if there's another style hive that I might be more um, attracted to in terms of my beekeeping style? All right, so uh, that's one. And then the other one is because this is a condensing colony, it'll act as such. And we'll be able to observe what bees do with the natural hive gases inside of it. Bees like to live in a condensing colony. And by condensing colony, I mean all of the moisture and hive gases that occur inside this um, hive body will be controlled by the bees without any interference from beekeepers. No added ventilation at all. And I believe that's the way bees prefer to live since it's a more natural environment. All right, so we're going to install bees in these up in the bee yard. You'll be able to see them. We'll pull these frames. You'll be able to see what the bees are doing inside these um, boxes. And we'll evaluate whether or not we think um, they are uh, doing well in there. So we'll see you at the bee yard.